Okay, welcome to part six. Jam here. Uh, well, I was thinking about doing a part six today, and I decided to go ahead and do it. That's about how it goes. Uh, you know, I went and played some Planet Side, well, Planet Side two, and uh, a little bit of Minecraft got my reactor working while part five was rendering. So now let's uh, let's continue. Uh, thank you. I uh, had uh, some input about uh, dust. Uh, if a world produces dust, it's bad news, so... Okay, that means we are definitely going to be aiming for, uh, personal shields. <laughs> there we go. And let's see if we can kick a little bit more towards, uh, well... I want to, but Octans is like, no, we don't want to. So we'll see about that. Attitude changes. I guess they're being, like, kind of liking me since I'm not going schizo insane on them. I'm trying to kill them quite yet. That's going to change. Okay, so let's go through and look at the worlds. Had a couple of uh, events. Research complete. Yay, love the planet. So... Flawless machining. No, thank you. And... Oh, hello. So, you want to give us lava transformation, planetary institute, and atmospheric filtr filtration for peace. Um, okay. I said I'm going to be angry and go rah rah or I'm going to kill you, but... Uh, being able to colonize the gas giants are a pretty big thing for me. Definitely a big thing. Okay, so he's doing finishing up his moon survey. And you're finished with this. No exploitation. Let's take care of that. Hyperscale farming. Then uh, let's go to the next one. Kuma has its farms active, so that's looking good. Endothermic structures has two turns until we're good to go on you. And then I want you to colonize the lava world. Working on those rice isotope factories. You're working on your farms. You are colonizing. Okay, so we have, we've... Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna... No, let's get these surveys done. Oh, he doesn't have a moon, it's him that has the moon. Okay, so we're gonna get those surveys done, and uh, then we'll be able to get intensive cultivation running for him. Make sure I didn't miss anything. We want to colonize this lava world. And I want to survey that moon. Oh, we got some moons here to survey. And so you're going to be colonized. Lots of moons to survey, but we got 18 turns left on you. A moon to survey there. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. And I think I'm going to do probably 10, 15 turns. We'll see how much time that ends up doing. Uh... Yay, Master of Celestial Bodies. Okay, so we have colonized the gas giant. Empty moon, they are degraded, they are improved. Hello, Mira. Okay. Let's colonize now Lava World. 
Then we'll go medium baron. And then we'll go large baron. Perfect. Okay, so let's see what turn 123 brings us. A bunch of moon surveys got finished. Um, they didn't find anything. Octans finished that, so... Let's see, yeah. They're now going to be finishing colonizing. Looks good. Cygnus, you are ready to survey that moon for me. And then let's go with... I want to exploit. I'll exploit with a farm. Because who doesn't want to farm a gas giant? That just sounds awesome. These giant floating farms with crystalline ships running back and forth between them. I definitely need to have that in a future book series that I do. Yeah, I guess that's one thing I've managed to not do is plug the book that I've written. Ah. N no, that's not enough for me to want a piece with you. Okay. Intensive cultivation logistics. Shouldn't it be extensive? Whatever. Okay, so those moons are... Let's go with our Oort satellite. And then... Uh, cultivation. Logistics. Logistical cultivational stuff. Okay, I want you... Obviously you're going to have to make that. For the time being, I guess. And then intensive cultivation. Yeah. Everybody else looks good. Yeah, so, I mean, I wrote Time Jump last year now. I've been extremely negligent in getting book two finished. Um, I don't know, this past semester has been pretty hard on me life-wise. And that's uh, caused me to not get the writing done that people are expecting of me and that I really do need to be delivering. Because, I mean, let, let's face it. I told people I was going to write another one. I want to write another one. So I just need to sit down and actually write another one. Uh, not that I haven't been working on it. I've been working on it a lot. Um, and I sh I'm hoping to have it done by the 15th. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of work I need to put into it. I need to get my editing and all that stuff done. But uh, we should be seeing the cover come in here. Lens will be getting that done. Hopefully within the next uh, week and a half or so. And so uh, that should be great to see. I've seen some of the prelims on it. And... Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh. Um. Hi, hi there. Uh, I guess maybe he thought he was going to colonize, maybe? I don't know. Intensive cultivation logistics. Logistics. L -l 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 That's an interesting word. Yeah, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll drop a link to the book uh, on Amazon in the description if y'all care to look at it. I mean, it's, it's time travel sci-fi. Um, it's been getting decent reviews. It's probably not as good as I could have made it. I don't know. Um, that being said, I've become a better writer since I did it. I did it since I done it. Wow, that does not sound like a good writer at all, does it? Uh, see, that's methane. I have methane. But, 
Yeah. It was fun writing the first one. It's been fun writing the second one. And why are you blockading my planet? That is not very nice at all. Okay, how many... Sh eight ships. Okay, well... Okay, those guys are not being very nice to us. So we now ready these guys and tell them to go to there. No, no blockade for you. Truth Sears, Kinetic. Ooh, those guys have a lot of Kinetic. Okay, this is going to hurt. They don't have any shields, though. Okay, so since they have Kinetics, let's... Uh, that I want defensive formation nosebreaker and let's go this is probably going to end very poorly for us but we are trying it anyways this shit almost look like an Abaddon Abaddon whatever you, yeah from Eve My crystal ships say hello. guys. Ooh, they decided to retreat. Oh, we vaporized one of them. I don't come back. I forgot that I did have deflectors. <laughs> we'll see if these guys cut and run or not. to cut and run. Yeah, they're going to get away before the fighters even make it to them. LOL. Yes, I just said LOL. Phonetic. Whatever. Okay, well, we know that, uh, we have an opponent. Okay, so we're going to have to turn over to combat here and build up uh, ships because obviously these guys want to fight and I. Okay, uh, Edisir is finished. Dust code cracked. 25% on system. Cool. Sower's attitude has changed. I really don't care about them. These are the guys that are not being very nice. 
Okay, Edisir, you finished. I want you to exploit via industrial. That should work. Let's see how the rest of the everyone else is doing. Um, decently enough, okay. Let's see, what do I want you to do? Um, actually, let's launch you, merge, and just sit and wait. And y'all, I want defending the si I, I defense and defense. Okay, that looks good. Phil and Cygnus. Okay, research has been completed. Where are you attacking? Oh, it's you. That's gonna go so very badly for you, though, buddy. You have missiles, but I do have some flax. Uh, let's go with... So, using missiles, sabotage, then... Defense, defense. I mean, I shouldn't have to tell you Nosebreaker, but I'm going to anyways, and let's attack. Like this combat. That's going to end so poorly for him, though. I don't know why he sent just that one guy in. Hello. <laughs> I don't want any of this. And, well, things went poorly for him. He does have shields. They do have shields, though, on some of their ships. So... Need to keep that in mind. Hey, I have a text message. I feel happy. Okay. He's coming in, so once again, sabotage. Uh, sabotage, because he only has missiles. Yeah. Sabotage. And... Oh! We are go for combat. I just got told to water the plants. <laughs> I'm really bad about forgetting that, and that's not something you want to do in the Houston summer because it's so hot outside and we don't get any rain. Well, I guess there are some parts of town that have gotten some rain. But living in an apartment complex... <laughs> He's retreating. That's funny. Zoom. That's funny. Oh, look, and this guy arrives, and so we're going to do the same exact. Or, well, he's going to retreat. Can we? We'll just, yeah, we'll, we'll tactics, because he's going to retreat. So let's try and do as much damage as we can. I mean, did he not know that I own this planet, maybe? I don't know. That really hurt. 
mean, he got away, but he got pretty tore up from that. Another one. Wow. You know, if y'all don't mind, I'm just gonna auto this. Because we know what he's gonna do. And sure enough, he retreated. He got slapped pretty hard. Okay, research has been completed into hypermagnetics. So that gives us a support module, accelerated magnetics, damage on weapons, and defense on defenses. Ooh. That's actually pretty nice. And we also got an invasion geosynchronous sniper. I love how it's a wine glass. Can somebody figure... I mean, why is it a wine glass? Let's see. So... Establishing a new religion versus dust. No, oh, we're hostile. Don't worship the dust. Do do you even construction? Do you even do you even do yeah, whatever. Gas giant transformation. Um, open borders. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll play nice. Okay, Cygnus. Let's see. What do we... This trade's bringing in dust, though. Can somebody let me know if that's bad? Alright, it is trade bringing in dust bad. I mean, I know I obviously don't want to have dust production in my own stuff. Um, but our trade route's bad. There's your homework. All these farms are done. Okay, so I am ready to hit the turn button. With that being the case, uh, instead of hitting in turn, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. We've um, finished turn 129. We will be starting one turn 130 in the next video uh, in part 7. So uh, thanks for joining me. Once again, I will have a link to my book in the description. It's off Amazon. It's a Kindle book, $2.99. Um, people have been enjoying it, but keep in mind it is a time travel science fiction book. If you're not into that, uh, I'll just keep that in mind. And I wish everybody a happy end to their Monday. Take it easy.